Hi and welcome back to the Symmetry YouTube channel. My name is Craig Snell, the training manager here at Symmetry and today I've got a video showing you how to create a cumulative parts list. Now what I mean by that is your parts list will show you the total mass of your job or in the case of the video that I'm going to show you here it's going to add up the price of each all the individual components and show you a total at the end. I hope you enjoy it. Let's get started. Hi and welcome back to the Symmetry YouTube channel. I've been asked many times on support and on training courses if there's any way we can get Inventor to add up items. So for example you might want to find out what the total mass of an assembly is or what the total cost for the job will be. Can we do that in Inventor? Yes we can but we need to do some work before we get to that stage. So I have a very basic assembly here. I'll just open one of the parts and I'll go into eye properties and what you will see is that I've got in project I've got an estimated cost so for each item in that assembly I have got the estimated cost in the I properties for every single part that is there okay so we'll go into the drawing now and I've got a very basic parts list that is available there it's, I'm just using the default style that's there so to get on and do our changes we need to edit the parts list style. So we're going to create our new style here. So to do that I'll right click on parts list and say new style. And I'm going to give it a new name. So the first thing I will need to do is add in that estimated cost because that's not available in the default standard. So I'll just go to my column chooser and I will add in estimated cost. What we need to do next is go into grouping. Now we're going to group this using part number because part number is available in every single part and you do not need to fill that in. So I'll just go into grouping, go into group and I'll group it on part number. Press OK on that. And then we go into estimate a cost. Again right click on it and go into format column. Now this sounds a bit strange this one but we're going to substitute estimate cost. So we're going to enable the value substitution but we're going to browse again back to estimate a cost. And we're going to say when rows are merged add up the values. Okay, we save our style, press done, and now when we put a new parts list in, but we're going to use that new style that we've put in, as you will see, it will go through and tell us how many parts we've got and add them up as well. So for example if we just check here so part 4 should have an estimated cost of £2. And there you go. So that's how you get it to add up. So the second stage of this is getting a parts list to add up everything so it will give us the total mass or, the, or in this case the total price so as you can see from the parts that I've got here in the eye properties what I've done is in the category property I've added in their total price now you don't have to use category but it's you need to use something that isn't used in your borders or any of the other parts lists or cutting lists or whatever so as you can see in each one of my parts that I've got on here I've added in total price to the summary okay so back into the drawing here and again we're gonna create a new style for this so I'll edit my parts list style now you're better off at this point using the, the one that we created earlier as a as a template because we need, you still need to have that sum of values in for there. But it's very simple this one. So 
again we're going to right click new style and we'll call it a cumulative price list so I'm going to go into my column chooser and add in category so what you have at the end is you make sure you've got the estimated cost and the category in there as well and we'll go into grouping and we're going to group that on the category press OK save with styles again because the estimated cost is adding up as it was earlier because we used that as a template so we'll save that and we'll go into a parts list again change the style to the cumulative one and as you can see now we have all the items and then all the items item together with a total price at the end okay so you can do either or or obviously both together and I hope that helps. Thanks very much for listening. I hope to see you soon. I hope you found that useful. For more information, follow us on Twitter at Symmetry Training or visit our website at www.symmetry.co.uk. I hope to see you again soon. Bye.